Hello everyone, welcome back to Spar and Brawl. Hope you're having a decent day. So as always, I'm joined by my co-host Sam and we have a bunch of Iran updates. So about the elections, which are on the 18th of June, there have been a couple of debates and some reactions, some plagiarism accusations among the candidates, nuclear talks they're supposed to resume in the coming days and the Biden administration has removed one or two sanctions apparently. But Sam, first let's start off with this ship heading maybe potentially towards Venezuela, this Iranian ship, but it's not very clear. Uh, yeah, it's actually two ships to be, uh, I mean, it's at this, well, let's uh, be clear. Well, well, let's start the story from, from its beginning. Uh, so the, there are two Iranian ships, uh, one destroyer and one support. It's been described as a backup ship. So I don't, I don't know, maybe it's, it's due to the fact that some of, uh, I mean, due to the fact that some of Iranian ships have been seized by US or have been attacked by Israeli uh, government. So I think I don't I don't know if it's a normal procedure to have a backup ship with a destroyer or not. But at any rate, it's moving towards it's moving in the Atlantic Ocean and American officials have expressed a significant concern over the issue. Uh, American Secretary uh, of Defense uh, Lloyd Austin apparently according to uh, uh, according to uh, French Reporters, uh, Lloyd Austin, the secretary, American Secretary of Defense, uh, was in a meeting with the uh, with senator, Democratic senators, uh, uh, well, with senators and Democratic senator uh, uh, Richard Blumenthal expressed concern about the sh ship going potentially to Venezuela or some other country near to U.S. and uh, carrying weapons there, and he specifically asked if. The Secretary of Defense knew what was exactly in the ship, and he said that he will respond in a private meeting, uh, not in a public forum. Uh, so uh, it could be, to be honest, it could be uh, their concern. They, their main concern may be weapons. Their main concern may be petrochemical or oil or that type of thing, because uh, some of those things uh, are are uh, still illegal for Iran to trade under. U.S. sanctions, although, I mean, no country has acknowledged those sanctions necessarily. So it's a weird, I mean, it's an international law. It's a gray area. But U.S. obviously has a military that can enforce its sanctions on other countries. But uh, considering that uh, Biden administration seems to be serious about the lifting of sanctions against uh, uh, Iran and going back to the uh, to the Iran nuclear deal, uh, it seems unlikely that these ships will be uh, seized, or especially since one of them is a destroyer, which is a, a Navy ship. It's a military ship. So I, I, I am doubtful that it will escalate. But obviously, right-wing politicians in the US are going to make as much noise as possible about it. Okay. So, I... yeah. Yeah. Any question? I don't know. Yeah, I had one question. So last week we did the video about how Iran's biggest warship, which was built by the British, it burnt down. And then, so is this like their second biggest warships or anything like that? Any connections like about, you know, the size of the ship or something? Are these like new ships or anything like that or no? Uh, I, I don't think it's any. No, that was, well, that was an incident. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. But, yeah, but generally it's, I, I, I mean, I, I'm just asking, I, these I are not think... new ships that have gone out for like, you know, their first joyride or anything like that? Because you were saying no. that I think you were saying that they were building new ships to replace anyway, the the big one that had burnt down or something. They, they already had they already had to build a bigger one. It used to be uh, the, the, the ship that uh, the Navy boat that uh, burned down, that used to be the biggest uh, Iranian military ship. But then they have recently built bigger ones and apparently uh, homemade. It, they haven't been tested much. They, mm -hmm. And Iranian officials have a tendency to exaggerate. Like they uh, they have a sh they showcase some military equipment and then you never see them again or never mm -hmm. see them in action. So, but uh, I think to be, I mean, generally speaking, though, it's been an interesting year in terms of sea 
military wise because uh, just Iran and Israel have really engaged in more serious uh, sea battles apparently there are reports of Israeli ships uh, attacking Iranian ship or Israeli government like through rockets and stuff attacking Iranian ships and there was this uh, alle alleged Iranian attack uh, on a on in the Mediterranean that caused the environmental issue or something so it seems that I Iran is getting more serious about its uh, 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 its navy and it's a trend that you can see by the way with China and Turkey and many developing nations they are becoming more serious about their navy uh, because you know if you I mean sea is very important if mm -hmm. you can you know I think we talked about it also in the context of the India-China kind of border dispute. Yeah, right? yeah. I think you were talking about how even there. Yeah, China has a limited access to, to the sea. So India's big advantage there is that. But yeah, so uh, I think I don't think it's specifically related to the incident at the boat. But generally speaking, Iranian... Uh, Navy is going through some major changes, I think, updates and changes in a strategy. Okay, got you. All right. What's next? What else? So, uh, yeah, kind of, uh, I think it's uh, this one segues nicely to our uh, to the previous story. So, yeah, you had the uh, Biden administration lifting some sanctions. Uh, but at the same time, uh, putting some new sanctions in. And the uh, U.S. spokesperson was very adamant that it has nothing to do with the negotiations uh, over re return of the U.S. to the nuclear deal. So the removal of those sanctions and the putting uh, the removal of those sanctions and the new sanctions have nothing to do with the nuclear negotiations. That's what the American spokesperson spoke a spokesperson said and everybody said uh, haha because that's not true <laughs> yeah it's clearly related uh, it, it, america clearly is sending some green signals it seems that they are uh, they are willing to lift sanctions because the sanctions they lifted are far more important than the new sanctions that they put in uh, so and there were talks that <clears throat> Um, uh, Russian, um, there were reports from the Russian delegation that talks are going very positively and there are a very few issues uh, rem remaining. Same reports came from Iran. Uh, th there are reports that Iran is, there are a couple of economic like issues, that there are san economic sanctions that Iran is insisting to be removed and U.S. is, is still not removing. So it seems that uh, there, they, like, there are very few issues remaining. Uh, interestingly, the analysts, Iranian analysts in Iran and abroad, they are far less positive about the prospect of the deal in the next 10 days before the uh, Iranian elections. And they think that it's extremely unlikely that uh, it's going to happen in the next 10 days. But again, the Russian and uh, like foreign reporters are very positive.